Hey guys and welcome back to the video. In this video, we're gonna make an mini game system. So like spectating system, uh, intermission, and all that stuff. Mini games, awards, like you get points and wins and all that stuff. This is going to be really, really epic. So we're gonna open workspace and type in folder. And wanna type game system. And insert a script. And name it mini game handler. You want to type local status is equal to script dot status bar. You want to go over here string value status bar. Local values is equal to game dot game dot replicated storage dot values. Want to go to replicated storage, insert a folder, and name it values. Local ticking clock is equals to zero. And now we're gonna make a loop, so uh, every, it's, it's just gonna continuously forever go on and go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. You get the point. While true do. Um, ticking clock is equals to 15 seconds. We're gonna set it automatically to 15 seconds. Repeat. Ticking clock is equals to ticking clock. Uh, not tick, but ticking clock minus one. Status that value is equal to game starts. Well, next mini game in dot dot ticking clock. Wait one second, and we're gonna do this until the ticking clock value is, is zero. Then, um, actually, we're gonna do this and this. Um, Status that value is equals to minigame starting way to local selected map is equals to game dot replicated storage dot maps come on get children uh you don't need a semicolon I always do that but it's okay local chosen map is equals to map.random one out of the selected maps um local current number is equals to zero well you don't need that local uh, for i equals one comma hashtag um select map do um, current number is current number plus one. If the current number um, is the same as the chosen map, then uh, selected map i colon clone dot parent game of workspace dot um, game system dot uh, selected map. Well, actually, current map. Uh, let me say, yeah, game system. So we're gonna put it right over here in here. Then, current number. That's not true. Yeah, okay, no, it is true. Current map is equals to selected map i dot name. Status that value is going to be uh, the chosen game is map select selected map i dot name. And now we're gonna make a, a new thing. Wait three seconds. Local, uh, local PLR players. Is equals to game of players colon get children for i equals one uh comma hashtag out of the players do local number local randomized number is math.random one out of eight 
Keep in mind, this number is going to be your spawn number. So if you do two players, only two players will get spawned. But if your game has like 100, do 100, you know? Because that is like the biggest thing you should do. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can actually read me. There. Good luck reading. Can you read it? Can I look at OBS? Yep, you can read it perfectly fine. Okay. So let me uh, do this real quick. Alrighty. Master random. Then we want to uh, teleport to player. Players, I. Our character. That head. That C frame. Is equal to C frame dot new. Game dot workspace dot teleports. And we're gonna name it part. And then. Um. Dot. Um. Dot dot randomized number. And then dot position. There. So if you wanna. So first you have players I and you just you should be able to read it. Already? Next line. Players I dot character. Dot parent is going to be game dot workspace. Dot players in game. That's not true. Game. Game. Game system dot um, players in game. Players in game. Okay, let's do the um, s teleport. So you want to insert a uh, a part, and you want to put it a bit up, and then you want to make four of them. Well, as I said, depends on how many players your game can handle. Then boom, and then rapido, yes. Okay, and now you want to name it like this: part one, part two, uh, part three, part four, part five, part six, part seven, and part eight. Now, um, I'm gonna select them all. The transparency, I'm gonna do it so you can actually see it still. So for the video, anchored on, can't light off. Uh, and then you want to group it, uh, control G or just right click and group, and then name it teleports and drag it into the game system. Th th that, that's it. It's not hard. Alrighty, so we're gonna give the player, um, 60 seconds. Um, repeat. Uh, ticking clock. Is it the ticking clock uh, minus one status dot value is going to be um, ticking clock dot ticking clock dot, dot um, seconds left. Wait one until uh, ticking clock not tweeting info ticking clock is equal to equals to zero or game uh, or values dot winner. Winner value, good value, is other than nothing. So you want to go into your values, and you want to insert a string value. And you want to name it winner value. Um, if values dot winner value dot value is other than nothing, then... We're gonna do status at value is equals to value dot winner value dot value dot dot has one. And then we're gonna type something annoying game dot players and then values dot winner value dot value dot leader stats dot points dot value is equals to this entire thing again. Plus, um, just leave it blank. I want to duplicate this. But instead of the points, you want to say wins. And over here, wins. And at the top, you want to type local win amount is equal to 1. And local point amount is equal to 10. Plus points amount and win amount. 
They want to go to service group service and type is correct. Uh, game players I play Ada, connect yeah. function PLR, you know the drill. It's not hard. It's just the way it's annoying, you know. Sometimes it's annoying. Alrighty. Local leader stats is equal to instance that new folder. Leader stat oh leader stats dot name is going to be of course leader stats leader stats dot parent is pillar not physical properties pillar local uh, points instance dot new string value points dot name is going to be points points dot value is, is zero and points dot parent is going to be into the leader stats. Uh, copy and paste this dot dot, and just name it to wins. There, that is uh, quite easy. I'd say so. Values dot winner value dot value is nothing. So we're just going to reset the process, but um, if none of this is happening, then we're going to do status.value is equal to um, no one has won this minigame. Wait, three. Local players in game is equal to we're game of workspace dot uh, game system dot players in game to one get children not get players but get children for i equals one out of the players in game do local plr is game dot players colon get player from character um players in game i plr colon load character so just gonna reset the player and then game dot workspace dot um, game system current map colon destroy alrighty so this should be our first process done so now we're gonna go to start to GUI not GUI but GUI insert a screen GUI and name it intermission text label and this is what I'm gonna suggest you background source person you want um, text Gotham black white uh, no text and then one comma zero comma zero comma uh, 75 already uh, oops uh, what is this Oh, whoopsie! Whoop. Uh, leader stats. And in here, you want to insert a local script. And you want to type while true do script dot parent dot text is equals to game dot workspace dot game system dot mini game handler dot uh, status bar dot value. So we're gonna let the game. Uh, every, every single step we're gonna uh, get the text from the status bar so if we do this then the game would say this in the text label which is obvious but we're not done yet let's see in our script what we see can replicate in storage the maps maps and delete the winner value Close this, close this. Now you want to make your map. Yes, you, now you want to make your map. So I'm going to make an easy one and then show you something with it. So I'm going to duplicate it and then just rename it. But of course you need a winner door. A no winner door. Da -da -da -da. Winner door. You want to insert a script in it? 
now you want to type the most annoying script ever in your life. I am joking about that part. Alrighty. Script apparent the touched comma connect function hit. A local uh him is equals to hit apparent find first child humanoid. If the humanoid is other than nail, then Game the replicated storage dot values dot winner value dot value is equal to hit the parent dot name script the parent colon destroy. So uh, what we're doing here is we're gonna find the player, then we're gonna make a variable out of it, and then we're gonna put the player's name in the replicated storage. So the game will pick that up and put it in the status bar, and that we're just destroying the script where else people other people can also do it, and that's not what we want. Already, it's already quite tired. Okay, so now you want to uh, get these two, make this one yellow, and do not group the teleporters. Do not group this. Just don't. Many people are gonna get in fault of that, but don't. Okay, my ugly map, and I'm gonna put it in maps. But I'm gonna make two others, and this is going to be um, lol. I'm. I don't know, I'm recording, and the other one sh can be a uh, newbie YT. Alrighty, let's test this out and see if this mechanism is going to work. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot the text skill button. And in the script, we need to do this to uh, 10. Play here. Next minute game in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, boom. Mini game starting. But the chosen map is my ugly map. Okay. Teleport is not a valid member of workspace. Okay. Line 41. Oh, game dot workspace dot game system. Sorry about that part. Let's test this again. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The chosen map, media game starting. The chosen map is a lull I'm recording. 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, blah, blah, blah. Let's walk in this. Boom. Newbie Rupidev has won. And we just got 10 points and a win. And everything gets resetted. So now we're going to wait an entire minute. And not going to speed that up. Because I'm lazy too. Need to keep starting. The chosen map is Newbie YT. Okay. So let's wait an entire minute. And you saw we're getting teleported to one of the random spawns. So let's wait. You can add in barriers, I don't mind.
Alrighty. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Seconds left, and then boom, zero seconds left. No one has won, won this minigame. And the entire process gets reset entirely again. So this is an easy way of making a minigame system, but we're not done yet. No, 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 you thought we're done? Oh, boy, we're not. Boy, we're not even done yet. No, we're not. Alrighty. So I want to do something quite annoying. I believe. I want to make another screen GUI and name it Spectate. Uh, I'm gonna insert a um, text button. Okay, Spectate. I know I spelled that wrong. Who cares? Spectate. Yep. And this is going to be the open button, and you want to insert a local script in this. Script the parent dot mouse button. One click call connect function of nothing. Uh, if script the parent dot next dot visible is equal to equal to false, then script the parent dot next dot visible is to true. Else, um, if script the parent Go to visible is equals equals to true. Then game dot workspace dot camera dot camera subject is equals to game the players the local player dot character dot parent dot next dot visible is equals to false. That's a easy script. So I want to insert another. And then next. Next. Local PLR. Player is equals to game. The player is the local player. Local char is equals to game. The players. Find first child. PLR dot name. Player dot name. Local camera is equal to work game the workspace dot camera. Uh, number is equal to zero and on is also equal to zero. Script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect connect function not number sequence function of nothing. Oh come on! Of course, hold up. Okay, that's word. Um, on is equal to zero still. Local players. Keep in mind with the S. Is game dot workspace. Um, 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 the the game system. The uh, how is it called? Playing game. Yep. Come on, get children. Number is equal to number. Plus one, and then uh, hold up. Let me do this and this. Yep. If the number is equals equals to someone out out of the players, uh, then num per is equals to one and end. For i equals one, comma hashtag players do end. I have to type manually then it's quite annoying. On equals on plus one. If on is equals equals to the number, then and camera dot camera subject is equals to players I.
All right, play her. No errors, but I'm alone, so it's not gonna work. Choose the map, newbie whitey. Oh. Boom. Ten points and one win. Alrighty, spectate next. Uh, I'm gonna test this out in a two player. Um. I will give myself a minute. Two players start. I will cover up any sensitive info if it shows up. And are you gonna load in or where's my sec? Come on, where are you? Dude, are you actually kidding me right now? Of course, I'm not gonna make it in this period of time. Hello? Dude. Clean up. Let me test it real quick. Alright, I managed to make it, but it's going to be super laggy, and I'm really sorry for that. Yep. Oh my. This can never ever go well. Okay, spectate. Next. Ella, why are you not walking? Okay, well, that's great. Are we in the thingy, though? We are. Uh, let me see the script. Oh. Alrighty. Hmm. Oh, I see the error. If number is six players plus one, then my mistake. I'm oh my, I am horrible. So um, let's go testing again. All right, we're back in testing mode, and uh, my recorder is gonna explode. So sorry if it's really laggy. I'm actually sorry, but my computer isn't the best, of course. Um, so let's see if the spectate is fixed now, because you can only spectate people once uh, you're in a game. So let's just uh... Oh, two people in one spawn. That is quite amazing. Okay, whoa, 13 FPS. Come on, go up. Okay, 30, okay. Spectate. Next. E. And it works. Yep, this is going to be it. If you're enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I just made a, I just made a mini game system for you. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.